welcome to my channel if you're new please subscribe hit that notification bell so you know when I put out a video so today is a very relaxed video um, it's a lovely day outside so I thought how about I just film um, a hot day scents okay and this is one of the suggestions I got from my subscribers I've got five cents here right now that we could chat about so let's just keep it casual and hopefully you'll enjoy this video as well okay scent number one is iris drage okay so i did do an unboxing video i will put that in the description box and this is one of the scents that i have recently acquired um it's been um, a couple of weeks now um, of me enjoying this scent it's from Lancome and it's one of their private collection. This specific scent, I did spray it on here earlier on. It's lovely, okay? I'll just spray it again. So initially, you do smell that iris, but it does have like a, a sweet aspect to it, like a candy to it as well um it's it's a understated gourmand for those of us that really like sweet scents fruity sweet but it has almond in it and the almond is is sweet and candied i hope this is oh iris can be a bit sharp for my nose but because it has that sweet aspect to it, it makes it more rounded and the almonds always do that in perfumes. They make them a little bit creamier and sweetie. So yeah, I really like this for um, a really hot day when I want something sweet, but nothing too, too sweet, overpowering and heavy, okay? Because some heavy scents will make you feel hotter when it's already hot outside. So yes, it's an understated command. And I love this one. So that's Iris Drage, Drage, Iris Drage. Okay. Our next scent is one that's been around for quite a while. Oh, this is Lemparatrice by Dolce and Gabbana, and this is a perfect summer scent okay it took me a while to get used to and to like but now i just can't believe i did not appreciate it from the get-go um it is sweet ish it's got a soury aspect to it i think that's like the pink pepper ish spicy um it's got kiwi it's got watermelon rhubarb that's the tartness yeah the rhubarb so Yes, it is fresh, clean, feminine, and uh, it's one of those that you get compliments for, you know? Yeah. When it's hot outside, if you grab this, you can't offend anyone. You will like it, they'll like it, you know? kind of thing it's a go-to summer scent so yeah Lemparatrice it is one that I would pack if I was going away and um, yeah because it's when I'm not overdoing things and I don't want to complicate my you know trip or trying to overthink everything I just grab it and go I'm trying to find a perfect word for it it's just It'll work in any summer situation. The next scent is Gin Fizz by Lubin Paris. And this one is another go-to summer scent. You just smell like a sparkling drink. I mean, when it's really hot, wouldn't you like to smell like a sparkling drink? And it's refreshing, it's cool, it's lovely, okay? It's sweet but not in an annoying way. Mm. So all these scents I think are very sophisticated, classy, elegant. 
kind of sense. They don't, um, they're not overbearing, they don't shout, um, but anybody in close proximity to you will, will smell your scent and think, wow, she smells really nice and elegant, and she's so classy and she smells expensive. I was going up the stairs of the hotel lobby um, and there were these ladies coming down the stairs and they had, both had different perfumes but they just smelled so good and it just went with their classy outfits. You know, you can tell that they're um, very high class women. I mean, they were already dressed high class, but you know, it wouldn't make sense for them to be wearing a scent that I would recognize as cheap, you know? So it just went with everything. They just, they were wearing Valentino um, sandals with the, uh, anyway, it was just nice. And their husband, or oh, one of the husbands, was wearing um, these exotic snakeskin shoes. That wasn't a particularly great choice, but you know, that's personal <laughs> reference. But you could tell, you know, these people have money and they smelled like money. And I just think these scents will make you smell like that where you don't walk into a room, you're not overbearing, but if people come close to you, you do smell like, you know a rich woman so yes this is Lubin Paris Gin Fizz our next scent is oranges Bigorati's from Lancome again I did spray it here earlier on oh okay honestly um, oranges Bigorati's the initial spray is nice because you get that sharp orange citrus kind of um, scent and then the middle notes with the greens and the other florals and the tea kind of scent um, kind of puts me off but then I love the dry down um, the dry down is more rounded and you can smell the orange and a little bit like tea leaves um, but that's what makes it fresh and good for summer even though I don't like that middle note um, I can put up with it I do prefer the or um, iris droge instead of the oranges bigorati's but it's also a classy scent for those that like these types of tea tea floral green notes in their perfumes this scent reminds me of this perfume here that I did unbox it is from Alexandra J and this is just one from their collection it has a very heavy tea scent in there green tea and it's just it's too much I have to be in the mood for it um, but it, it has that note that could make me feel sick after a few seconds. So no, this one has similar notes to this one, but um, this is more rounded and nicer and more tolerable. Um, but if you're into green, leafy, um, orange scents, then this is a good one to try. Um, honestly, this collection from Lancome, I don't really think it's worth the amount of money that you pay for the perfume but um, I mean if you're a collector it's worth having and the scents are very unique and original so in that aspect yes go ahead and get them and try them but if you just an ordinary person who just wants a nice scent to wear every day no i won't say you know go and bother trying these ones or buying these ones because you know you could get alternatives other brands that um will not be this price tag you know our last scent for today is dolce and gabbana light blue intense i mean have i not spoken about this perfume enough <laughs> 
I think it has a genetic scent to it, but on each person it um, sort of a different personality for each person, you know? Sophisticated rich people would wear this scent, but you wouldn't think it's just some Dolce & Gabbana, you know, $200 bottle, $100 and something dollar bottle. You would assume that it's something way more expensive because what they'll be wearing and their aura will just, you know, exude luxury. So you will assume that the perfume they're wearing is much more expensive, even though they could just be wearing Dolce & Gabbana light blue intense okay so that's what i'm saying it just it suits your personality whatever it is anywhere you go it could be an everyday it could be um a signature scent but beach outside in the heat in the office anytime when it's hot just wear this and it'll work just fine and um right now where i am i i do see a lot of business people so i mean they might not gravitate towards this but if they did know about it they would appreciate dolce and gabbana light blue intense and i'm sure there's a more expensive or high-end version of this perfume that i have not discovered yet but i'll keep a lookout for it but it's definitely for the wealthy um kind of smell just clean fresh and um good quality you know anyway so yes comment below if you know any scent that kind of smells like Dolce & Gabbana but more expensive so um, yes I am just in the most chilled vibe <laughs> okay but I thought um let me just film something and I'm actually wanting a drink so Okay, so up close and personal, okay? <laughs> um, filming stuff, that's my view that I am working with. Obviously, these are hotel drinks and have that for now. Get all this alcohol. I haven't needed any, <laughs> but who knows. I guess I'll just end this video right here and relax some more. Maybe take a nap. I mean, I haven't had breakfast or lunch and um, I'm going to order some room service actually. Um, and yeah just relax so i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you in my next one and of course i will have more vi uh, vlogs i think we'll see how they turn out um i'm not as experienced so if they turn out all right <laughs> then i'll post them up if not then you know maybe next time so um yeah, I'll leave it here and hope you have a lovely day and um, see you next time. Thank you again. Bye.